and welcome back in the kitchen. You're cooking with Quilla on Team McClary Cooks. So tonight we are making some pasta alfredo with some blackened chicken, shrimp, broccoli, and we're gonna also use one seasoning, which is the Cajun blackened seasoning. We're gonna put in there some cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, and some shredded, heavy whipping cream, some unsalted butter for our broccoli, and we're using the mini penne noodles. Let's get this pasta started. The first thing we're gonna do is start boiling our noodles. And again, I'm using the mini penne. All right, I have already salted my water and added some vegetable oil to it. for the noodles not to stick, okay? We're gonna let our noodles boil for approximately 11 minutes, okay? Let's give it a stir. All right, we're gonna let that come up to a complete boil and we're gonna get started on our chicken. Let's start seasoning our chicken like so, okay? I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I started to say breasts, but these are not breasts, they're thighs, okay? I'm only using two seasonings today, and that is the Louisiana Cajun Blackened Season and some black pepper. Okay? Alright, keeping a dry hand, I am going to season my meat like so. Okay? Let's pat this seasoning in also. I'm going to get some pepper out of here, sprinkle onto our meat. Okay, flip them over and do the same exact thing. But we're going to go with pepper first instead. Okay, let's go again with our blackened seasoning. And that's how we're going to season all of our chicken. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my burner started, and we'll be right back. Now it's time to get this pan seared chicken started, okay? So we're going to put her down in there like so. That's the kind of sizzle you want to hear. That means your pot is hot enough. All right. Let's go ahead and put her down in there like so. All right. You do not want to overcrowd your pan because then it won't cook right. Instead of pan searing, it will steam cook the chicken. Okay. So that's all I'm putting in there. And after this cook, we'll go ahead and put in our next set. Let's go ahead and start flipping these babies over. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yes, look at that crust, look at that color. That's exactly what I'm looking for when I'm pan searing my chicken. Okay. All right, one more to flip. If it gets stuck, just take whatever you think you're using, wiggle around under it, and then flip it over. This one can stay on the other side because it's not fully cooked. So, we're going to finish this up, and we'll be back. All right, now it's time for our second set of chicken thighs to go in. Okay. Let's put that one little nugget right there, okay? And you guys, if I haven't said it earlier, I am using avocado oil and grapeseed oil to pan sear my chicken because of the high smoke point that this oil can take. Now it's time to take the second set out, okay? You guys look at that. That looks delicious, okay? 
Okay. Let's take those out. And now we're going to put our shrimp in like so. You guys, our shrimp cook really fast. And I want all that yummy goodness that's in the bottom of that can to stay in there. Okay. They only take like three to four minutes to cook. Once they turn to you already know they're done. Okay. I want them with a nice crust on the outside of them as well. Just like the chicken. Okay. Let's grab up a fork because it doesn't take long. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that baby right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm flipping these babies over. And these shrimp are already peeled and deveined. The only thing it has on it is the tail. Pot is sliding a little bit, so we're just going to take our fork, slide it back. You guys look at that. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to see right there. Now I'm just going to stir them around. Just to get all that flavor that's in the bottom of our pan. And I want all of that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take these out. After we take these out, we're going to wash our pan out. Then we're going to come back and start pouring our Alfredo sauce. Alright you guys, so in my pan here, I have two sticks of butter along with the Cajun oil that I had left over from the chicken and shrimp. And once this butter is melted, we're going to go in with the four cloves of garlic that I have chopped. Which is on this plate here. Okay. Let's get it all melted. Once your butter is melted, we're going to go put that garlic in. We're going to keep stirring so that the garlic won't burn. Okay. You want that garlic to season this butter. So when you add your heavy cream in, it can come up to a simmer. Okay. We don't want it to boil. We want it to simmer. Okay. All right. Let's go in with that garlic. All right. I want to stir that in like so. Let's go ahead and flavor our butter. And you guys are smelling good already. Once you can smell your garlic inside of your butter, that's when you know to add in your heavy cream. I am using one full pint of heavy whipping cream. Alright, let's get her open up here. We're going to pull it in slowly. We'll pour it in slowly because that sounded very country. Alright. Okay, that's our whole pint. Now, what we're going to do is stir that baby in. Once you get them well incorporated with each other, then we're going to add in some oregano, 
after we add in our oregano we're going to take this baby off the burner so we can put our cheese in do not add cheese to hot liquids because the cheese will separate and you will have a nice oily mess i hate to say it that way but that's what it's going to be okay all right so we're going to bring this to a simmer and we'll be back to add our cheese all right now that our mixture has come to a simmer we have taken it off our burner now we're going to slowly add in our parmesan cheese and some smoked gouda we're also going to throw in some grated parmesan and romano cheese as well okay let's start adding in our cheese this is smoked gouda and this is the parmesan cheese and you guys the fresh parmesan cheese works the best because the one in the bag has like a powdery substance on it and it doesn't uh, melt as well as the fresh cheese okay so we're gonna grab a handful of our parmesan cheese okay and we're gonna grab some of our smoked gouda as well okay we're gonna throw in a few dashes of our parmesan and, and romano cheese and it would be me not opening it okay we got that over nice so all right this stuff can be quite salty the romano cheese so you only need a little dash of that all right get your best whisk and you guys i have a new one okay we're gonna slowly stir that in this is gonna be really good you guys all right See that cheese right there is melting very nicely. All right, let's go ahead and dump in the other rest of our cheese. Okay. Let's stir that in as well. We're also going to add in two house teaspoons of Neufchatel. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I butchered it. Butchered it. <laughs> you guys, I can't talk. All right. Get that off of our whisk. All right. Let that go back down in there like so. This stuff right here is just like cream cheese. I think it's called Neuf Chatel. All right. So that's one house teaspoon. Two house teaspoons. It's a lot softer than uh, cream cheese. Well, I tried to get that in there, you guys. It didn't want to go. So... That's the best thing to do right there. And there goes a piece that didn't want to go in the pot. Alright. Now, let's keep stirring. Alright, you guys, at the bottom of my pot, I have a boatload of cheese that I need to stir in very well. Okay. Once we get that started in, we'll be back to put our noodles in. What we're going to do now is add in some black pepper. You can add in one teaspoon to a half teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. Then we're going to add in some oregano. Oregano. 
along with the oregano we're going to add in some parsley flakes as well just to give our baby some color you don't need too much a few will do all right let's get our stuff back together now we're going to give it a good stir You guys, this stuff smells amazing. Once you start making this, I swear you'll think you're at the Olive Garden. Alright. I'm going to try to whisk it in like so. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is start adding in our noodles. Again, I used the baby, uh, the mini penne. I said baby. Huh? They have been drained after cooking. Okay. I'm going to add those in slowly. Those in, let's stir those together. Oh, yes, you guys, look at that. That looks good. Okay, I'm gonna add in a few more uh, spoonfuls of noodles. This pot is going to be so full. <clears throat> but that's what we want. We want a nice pot. Okay. Let's stir that in slowly so you won't waste anything. And you guys know I am notorious for making a good mess. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is take a spider spoon, take our broccoli out of the water, and we're going to put that in there like so. Okay. And yes, there are big chunks of broccoli. I'm not adding in much broccoli because some people in my family don't eat broccoli or don't care for it at all. Okay. Alright. Got all of those pieces out. We're going to chop our chicken off camera and go ahead and load them in this Alfredo pan with our noodles we will be back you guys all right you guys so I have changed my pot from a braising pan to a Dutch oven and you guys my pasta is done okay I have added in my pan seared chicken I have added in some of my shrimp and the only thing left to do is get this baby plated look at that yummy goodness right there Let's plate this and come back so you can see how it looks. All right, we're back with the final results plated. You guys, this is what it's looking like. I got that Cajun Alfredo with blackened chicken and shrimp, along with some broccoli and garlic bread on the side. If you like what I've done, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and share. That's how we get noticed over here. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.